So here's an excellent tip I can give you. When you are about to arrive at a destination, you're one or two minutes away. In fact, you might even see them across the road. You see a group of people, one or two, and they're waving. Hey, here we are. You know that experience. Okay. So I just prepare myself in 30 seconds. I put my eucalyptus oil in the vent, blast the vent, get it all nice and fresh, ready for them. Hi, guys. How are you? Did you enjoy a great dinner? Did you? Um, you know, that's if I'm picking them up in front of a restaurant. Or um, are you going out tonight? Um, does anybody need their phones charged? Um, I also have an auxiliary cord here if you want to listen to some music. And let me know if the temperature is fine with you. I can put it up or down. Or we can increase the air conditioning, whichever you prefer. Right there and then, three easy steps, three easy questions. I've established a relationship that I care about them. I care about them that they're in the right temperature environment. I care about them that they get the opportunity to choose and nominate and listen to their own music. Um, I set the tone with the eucalyptus oil. They, they're getting into the spa of wheels, spa on wheels, sorry. Um, I've said hello. Uh, most of the time I'll open up the door. Be polite, open up the door for the lady. I will make sure that I'll position myself in a good spot so that they're not subjected to heavy traffic. And, um, you know, their phone might be on 5 or 10%. So I'm doing them a huge favor if I'm giving them at least another 20, 30% of charge before they reach their destination. Sometimes up to 100% of charge, depends how long they're in the car. So that goes a long way. Then comes that moment where should I back off? Should we engage in a conversation? And ladies and gentlemen, you have to gauge that. You have to just see if the person's had a long day, a rough day, if they look tired, the hair's all scraggly. If they just slouch back into the seat, you can see they're tired. Or if they ask you, hey, how was your day? You know, haven't you had that experience where a lot of people ask you, how was your day? You know what, my day was great. I've, had, I've met a lot of awesome people today. Uh, gone all around the city and um, it's fun. I'm having a good time. Cool. Now we're in a conversation. Back and forth, I guarantee you that. Or they're on a cell phone or they're on their computer. That's time for me to back off. They're busy. There might come a time where they put the phone down and they're sort of ready to engage. So here's the thing. Never force something. You don't feel like you have to force a conversation. Don't feel like you have to overdo it to satisfy them because it feels you can feel that tension or you can even feel that tension coming up in yourself well, what do I have to do now to, to please this person no there's a few basics you can do right in the beginning just breathe have fun be relaxed the more relaxed you are they pick up on that energy they pick up on that vibe they see it the way you drive no erratic changing lanes no zipping around put out the indicator do smooth transitions I get so many comments from passengers say, you know, I feel really safe around you when you drive and I really enjoy driving with you because you um, are not erratic. And I don't speed or, or drive crazy, uh, uh, do crazy shit on the road or, you know, it's not a racetrack. It's about getting them from A to B. And the more calm, cool and collected you can be, they pick up on that energy. Okay. So, in the beginning, yes, it's, 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 it's like it's easy for me to say, just go out there and be, hey, all chill. No, in the beginning, it's pretty tense. I mean, you're like, oh, fuck, I'm going to screw up here or what's going on? So, you just do your best. That's all you can do, you know. And um, if you get into a conversation, and, it, and, and it's a great job to get into conversation. You meet a lot of people, you make a lot of friends. I do. And, um, you know, if there is some common ground, like, Suddenly you're talking about the Olympics and you're talking about Usain Bolt or Simone Biles, the wonderful gymnastic, uh, gymnast, you know, there's, there's suddenly there's common ground or they might bring up a sport that they like, like soccer and you, and you know a lot about that. So, so how did you enjoy the Nigeria-Germany game? So 
you create that level of, of, of trusting each other, listening to each other and enjoying each other's conversation. Um, and it's easy. So if you're thinking of becoming a driver, um, you know, the question of leasing or buying the car, making the right choices. You don't want to overextend yourself and start off in like a luxury division and get a Mercedes Benz when you can't even afford the repairs. So be realistic. Also be very realistic about the hours that you can invest and that you can dedicate to this. Be very realistic about what you want to earn per week and then you can start slowly growing it, right? You got to gather some experience. So what I say to people is like, you know when to take the next level up. If you start with UberX, you got that all figured out, you want to bump it up, you're ready to buy a new car, you go in black or select, you're making more money, you've done all that, you've gathered experience there, you're ready to bump it up, you might go to SUV or to luxury, you go in there, you gain experience, you make the money, now you want to bump it up, now maybe you become an Uber partner and start your own fleet. So, it, 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 you, you don't have to just stay on that one level, right? You might be doing this as like a second job, which is fine. So, you know, there's a spoke to a nurse the other day. She does her nursing and in a little bit of her spare time, she does driving. Well, that's cool. But you can actually turn this into a very, very profitable business, especially with the referrals, especially now knowing how to use the internet platforms. And guess what? All of those channels are free, whether it's Pinterest, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of those platforms are there for you to promote yourself, just like I am talking to you right now. So why can't you do this? Ask yourself that. Why can't you be promoting yourself and your referral link and making money like I am right now referring drivers? Okay, that's my challenge to you today. So you're behind the wheel. Yes, you're making money. You're driving hours. I invite you to break through that barrier and enter the social media world Go and educate yourself if you don't know how to use it or how don't know how to use Twitter. But what a great way to, to grow your business. Uh, if you have any other questions, people will always say, hey, you know what? You've been very helpful. You've been, you know, they, they're grateful for the information that I share. I don't charge them. I hope to get referrals. Yes, I do. But even seasoned drivers, drivers that have been in there for a few months a lot of these people call me and guess what I help them when I have the time so if I have 10 15 minutes I'll say hey well you know what call me around about two o'clock and we can have a little chat so the invite is there to you as well so uh, I enjoy sharing coaching mentoring and training and if I can help in any way or just this much I've done my job have a great day